Hi, I'm Vernicia. And I am Reynolds. And this is our wedding diary. It's our pleasure to host your wedding reception at the Biltmore. Um, we're privileged and very much honored. We're looking forward to an excellent and most memorable time um, with all that we have to offer. And I trust that you will have this to remember for the rest of your lives. The hotel, um, what we have is the Reception is going to be in our River Hall um, and their wedding at our Biltmore Green. Um, the capacity of the Biltmore Green could hold up to a thousand persons, theater style. Um, whatever layout you guys choose, we will ensure that it's carried out and looks beautiful. The River Hall it has a capacity of up to for the banquet seating arrangement for your reception, it could hold up to 450 persons. So most definitely it could accommodate your seating arrangement for 100 persons comfortably. You guys excited? Looking forward to it? Yes. My only thing is, I am hoping and I'm praying hard that it does not rain, but what if it rains? What's the options? Um, the other option that we have in the event it rains is to move the ceremony from the green into one of our much smaller rooms, which is our Tukan Hall. That has a capacity of give and take 175 person theater style. So that will definitely accommodate your 100 persons theater style for the ceremony. So we have options and that's the beauty about our hotel. We're flexible and we could meet your needs. I'm okay then. If it rains, if it doesn't rain, we'll still get married. <laughs> um, in terms of uh, dinner arrangements, dinner arrangements yeah. um, we were looking more at this um, flavor explosion. So yeah, right. flavor explosion. Yeah, flavor yeah. Flavor. under the plated dinner. Plated, yeah, that's a plated option, yes. Yeah. Um, so that is going to be um, served. Um, it's going to be served from the kitchen. Yeah, what is going to happen is that we're going to start with your appetizer and then um, you know, we'll serve, serve your table of course, we'll be served first and then we, we move around to your other guests and then um, when everybody is finished we clear and then we go to the main course, right? And then we repeat the same process and then we go to the, to the um, appetizer, sorry, the dessert. And looking at the entree, I notice you have um, chicken breast or fish filet? Well, what we have um, decided to do um, is to give you a, a, a little bit of each. Okay. So that there's, there's no, um, there's no um, pull back with who's having fish, who's having chicken. So everybody's just going to have a little bit of everything, so you know, it just helps with the, with the flow, no? I notice you have other desserts, and I really like some of the options that you had, such as the tequila mousse, the carrot cake, the apple cinnamon pie, and papaya ginger pie. Um, why I wanted to be on the safe side, and that's why I also look at what he likes with the strawberry cheesecake, and then um, I know some people might not like tequila or some people might not like the whole idea of having the carrot cake or things like that but it's good that you all have these options so the flavor explosion it is yeah. flavor, flavor explosion, explosion it is yeah, I think, I think that's a good option like i said it gives you a little bit of everything yeah? so you know it makes the choices much easier you have until midnight to have your reception so it gives you guys enough time to to enjoy with your family and friends um, you have until midnight to take your reception too yeah. so what do you guys what's your take on that well um midnight are you quick to move on to the honeymoon portion we, we are party people okay um we're still young so we still have you know, a lot of energy, <laughs> lot of energy. Um, but um, 12 is fine yes um, 
And this is our chef, Danfield Christian. And very, very nice. nice. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good salad with uh, grilled chicken. To start you off this evening. Enjoy your romantic evening. I'll see you later for the main course. I must say, I love how it is plated, but not just that, um, the portion itself is enough. Yeah, it is an appetizer, so um, it's just, just enough to get you started. started. It's a classic Caesar salad, it's romaine lettuce with uh, croutons and it's um, topped with a Caesar dressing. And um, what the chef does is he grills the chicken, cuts it in strips, and then he places it on top. So. It's very healthy. It doesn't have any um, oil or, you know, it's not greasy, so it's very healthy. I am big on presentation, and this is well presented. Um, no man, when I start eating, all of this, you know, but... <laughs> well, you this, eat with the eyes before the belly. Right, so exactly. Really <laughs> so, I mean, this, this is appealing to me. Yes, yeah. And That's so, idea. I, I really love it. I really love this. This is our entree that is, um, the chef is presenting now. Thank you chef. for choosing us once again. Welcome. Uh, this is uh, the entree. It's a combination of uh, tender breast chicken with uh, crema and uh, sit on a potato bed. We have a cilantro rice and sits on top of that is a piece of snapper with pesto sauce. Your medley of vegetables consists of some healthy spinach, beets, carrots, and zucchini. Please do enjoy. See you back for dessert. Enjoy. Well, the first thing I must say that captured me when I saw this in front of me was the fish. I love how it looked well seasoned because I love seasoning and that's a plus, plus, plus for me. Well, of course, the vegetables that adds to it. Um, not everybody might eat beets or things like that, but it does add that extra. Explosion. <laughs> yes, yeah. sir. And um, it's very healthy. First thing boxed me off on this plate was the smell. This smells good. I just want to eat everything off on this plate on the plate if they, you know, but it's, it really smells yeah. good. And I can guarantee you the guests will enjoy this. I am sure they will, yeah. It's a combination of all the different spices, you know, it just gives you that nice aroma. I am not disappointed. The guests are able to get a little bit of everything, especially when it comes to the chicken and the fish. Yes, yes. Um, Rice, potato. Because I was concerned about that at first. I was concerned, okay, will my guests well, this set only get chicken, and then this set only yeah, get this is fish, the best way to go. Yeah, this is you the made best. this so much easier no, on go, yeah. my part, so I'm happy for that. Good night, once again. Good night. Thank you for choosing us. This is your final course for tonight. It is a death by chocolate with all the trimmings <laughs> thereof. Nothing left behind. Please do enjoy and hope that you can tell your friends about us when you are Thanks for choosing. You said the name is Death by Chocolate? Death by Chocolate. Not Death, but Death by Death by, by Chocolate. Woo. I think he has his, his taste buds. Yes. Okay. Okay. With this chocolate. Chef. Thank you very much. Do enjoy. Woo. <laughs> I just get weak. Well, Touch your heart. Yeah, this is. This one touch your heart, because he's our chocolate lover. I'm a chocolate baby. This is my month. My mouth literally the water just now. Sorry. Um, <laughs> this is actually the best arrangement I've seen with chocolate. Wow. I hope you guys enjoyed our presentation. I am very, very satisfied. I am not just only satisfied for myself, but I know our guests will enjoy the meal. Um, it's a little bit of everything, a little bit of healthy, a little bit of fish, a little bit of chicken. 
a little bit of dessert but it's also in a good amount of portion that will still satisfy them will still fold them so i don't have any complaints i am more than satisfied with what you guys have presented here today me personally this is my main course i don't care what else you guys say this is my main course but um presentation on point the smell is to die for your chef did a wonderful job yes um i can definitely see our families enjoying this and everybody having a very good night on behalf of the Biltmore hotel we want to uh, let you guys know that we're looking forward to providing an exceptional service and giving you guys time of your life great service and all the other treatments that goes along with it. <laughs> Leave well, it up to the night, experts. We, for that night, we want you to just enjoy your wedding. Yes. Leave the, leave the workforce. Yes, right? definitely. Okay. Here at Cotiche, we offer several services. Um, here, we do color, we do cuts, wash and blowouts, we do keratin, highlights. We have a very well um, put together petty area mm -hmm. for um, all sorts of procedures, um, paraffin treatments. Um, we do acrylic um, system, gel system for nails. We do also for Yanni Studio, mm -hmm. full makeup. We do full makeup. Eyelash extensions. Not the makeup type. Okay. I am just normally lipstick and that's the go for me. However, my wedding day yes, is me being different. Mm -hmm. What exactly would you like for your for your looking specific? Do you want something soft and subtle? Do you want something glammy? Do you want something glitzy? Something bold? Um not too bold. Not too, not too bold. So you're not going um, too crazy with the mm -mm. eye makeup look. Yeah. Okay. But I do want something that stands out. Yes. Okay. Something different, like me being different. Okay, that's me perfect. not wearing makeup to me wearing makeup. Okay, well definitely for your wedding day, that's something that you can always look forward to going back on the wedding pictures. It's, it's something that you wanted, something that looks different, mm -hmm. and something that makes you feel like a princess for the day. So definitely for makeup looks, we can work with that. Okay, love. Have a seat and we'll begin. Great. Come right in. For a makeup look, she definitely is not someone that's used to makeup, but she wants something different. So what we decided to do was not go very elaborate with her eyes. We're just going to make it pop a little bit, put a little bit of glam there, but we're concentrated on more uh, balanced look. We're going to start you off on some Fenty and see how it is. Whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know about so, makeup. I don't it's a very try. good line, actually. It's a nice line so far. I like this tone, it blends in very, very well. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe what we can do is go a little bit subtle with your eyes. Still do something a little bit glammy, not mm -hmm. too much, not too overdoing it. And then do something bold with your lips. Perfect. <laughs> but number three, actually. I can see that you really like yeah, number three. Yeah, I do three. like number three. Number three is my favorite one so far. See, as you can see, the first one blended it nicely. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's good coverage. I think the second was a little bit too yellow. So, mixing it done. And number three, I think, was perfect. We're here. Very curly. 
Mm -hmm. um, anything in specific you would like? Half up, half down. I would everything up. I don't want it up. Mm -hmm. Um, I want it down. Okay. Maybe coming together yeah. so that my veil can sit right in there. Because I feel like if I have it up, then I don't know. I don't. Yeah. You want something down? Okay. Yes. I can see that based on the curls, it's um, shoulder length, about yes. shoulder length. Okay, my suggestion, um, especially because you're going to have your hair down, there's nothing detailed in the back of your dress, correct? That you would want to showcase. Showcase, no. Okay, so my suggestion, um, because of the curls, I would definitely put in some extensions. Okay. Not so much for your body, but for length. All right. Because curls does shrink, and I think you'd want it to be more resting on your back yes. than just on your shoulders. So that will definitely be a suggestion of mine. Do you want anything uh, framing the face? No. Nothing. You want everything pulled back? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Clean look. Okay. The only thing is though, is that if you do come in mm -hmm. on the Saturday to get the, your extensions in, we'll do a waxing before then for your eyebrows. If you want to, it's just that we do recommend that you do any type of waxing 24 hours before makeup is applied, just mm -hmm. in case of no type of irritation. So we'll definitely wax you up and let it look all neat and pretty, and then we'll be done with that. One of the things that I think we enjoy of all the things we do is weddings. Mm -hmm. And it's because you get all the moments, you get all the nervousness, you get the anxiety, you get sometimes even a frustration. and The drama, a little bit of drama then, usually comes in. One of the things that we get the honor of doing is when, with all that's going on, all the chaos going mm -hmm. on, for example, the kind of bride that we have for Yes Do I Do is that she's never really been one to put on makeup and those are the brides that we love because when they see themselves for the first time it's like oh my gosh and it sometimes it distracts them from all that's going on all she can do is look at herself and be like oh my goodness I've never seen myself like this before and it's something that you know that's what makes your, your, your job so amazing. Worthwhile. It yeah. makes it worthwhile when you can see that they genuinely. It's the awe. Yeah, it's the, the awe, awe moment. moment. <laughs> we, wait, we actually wait for the awe, awe moment, moment, the big reveal where yeah. she's in her dress, she has on her makeup, she has her hair done, and it's that wow mm -hmm. moment. After you finish with makeup, then I'll get you back. We will loose them, get you in your dress, and then we'll set the veil. It's gonna be gorgeous. But yeah, your hair is. Honestly, I love it. It is definitely workable. Beautiful. I think that's one of the main things that really does set us apart is that we don't take you as a customer or a client. We take oh. you as family. Yeah. When you leave here, we want you to consider us that, you know, we're good friends. You yeah. leave her with a happy service and a smile on your face and that's all we can always ask for. Yeah. Okay, well, to the lovely couples, thanks for, you know, considering me. And of course, your day will be very special and life-changing. You know, after that, I just honor too. Right? So, everything that day should be perfect. Right? Everything. And of course, the music for that day is very, very important. I mean, you need your crowd to be entertained. You guys want to be entertained. You know, you want to hear good music good songs and of course the songs that you guys like i know you're the musical ambassador uh -huh. i know you know your thing but music wise what we look for for this night mm -hmm. you know i'm a guy from now on so uh -huh. i forgot my punta right i forgot my little punta i could play a little paranda you know the little sea wheels the little loveless yeah i have all of them yeah, yeah and then I could talk BJ terms, right? The BPM uh -huh. must start from like 69 something. <laughs> Definitely. And then we uh -huh. carry it up all the way to like 110. Okay. 150 if you go all the way to 150. Oh, now I also have to talk in my terms too. Huh? Alright, and then in our wife terms, yeah. Uh -huh. We start from our souls, and then we work with you up 
reggae, yeah, dance, yeah, all these lovers rap too. Yeah, yeah all these mm-hmm. lovers rap, you know. Yes, yes. definitely, definitely, definitely. definitely. All of them, um, you know, sick of more tree and 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 <laughs> the juice rhythm and all of that there. We want, we need all Fate that. rhythm, yes. bam bam, currency mm-hmm. there, what a bam bam. In terms of uh, like, uh, like genre, mm-hmm. keep it to punta dance or reggae, slapping all the old, old lovers rock and everything there. Yeah. Dance, I don't know how you feel about first dance and... and, and when I think about first dance, mm-hmm. I think about as a whole hymn, first mm-hmm. to me. I say I want a song where you could hold a cherish a hold a close. And just forget that everybody did mm-hmm. wrong. Mm-hmm. And just be in the moment and just have it nice. Thank you. So one specific song for the first dance. I say what something where I hold you. Yeah, yeah. And it'll be kinda how to put it meaningful, like yeah. just one or two. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if you're a wild son right here. But by then I done married. But still. <laughs> well, that's true, you know, I'm a call you. But I done married. I done married, yeah, I done married. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have thousands of their kind of stuff we could set the mood for you, know, but I guess if you don't figure one now, we could figure out one later on. This is what I'm making for I don't want emotional wreck, you know. <laughs> I'll repeat this thing again, G. And tell me happy wife, happy life. So if she like it. You, you like it. exactly. If she <laughs> give a little look for a classy dance, I'll change that right change away, that right? Then in case it blend, then in case it just chop it. Then I jump. Then I jump. This is how I want here. Bass, I want to have the bass line, the rock. I want to make sure that the high is the pump. Well, not really the pump, I want to have a crisp. You don't know, I can. Blast out of the bass right now. Yeah, yeah, but. You know? Yes, yes. Exactly what I want. I need that. I want it. Uh-huh. Yes. I could bring it out, okay? You could go out and leave me spill if I want. I want to feel the vibe because you don't get me hype already and I want you to kill me vibe so let me have some song Well look, I'm going to have a new one yes. and then I'm going to carry it back all after this But okay, see it Stop it, <laughs> Well done! So, you know, thanks for getting me and of course, you won't regret it I've been DJing for years now, from 2004. From then I've been collecting music, DJing here and there, you know. I specialize in, of course, weddings, birthday parties, celebration, I even do karaoke. You know, I used to sing too, right? So, <laughs> so maybe I do a little selection for you guys at night. Like how you guys are hiring me, that means that when our event is finished, you know, you'll get a package. So I'll give you a package with a thank you card and you can say I have some thank you cards here. You get pen, pencils, um, mugs, cups, of course it's my logo and my stuff, you know. Because it's all about helping each other right. and promoting each other. Yeah. And after this we'll keep in touch to perfect the playlist and perfect everything that you guys want for that night. Yeah. Because I like it. Perfect. Good. And the G. Thank you very much. Congratulations to the winner. He will have a fantastic dream wedding. And um, Reynolds Lewis actually will have all the wines and the spirits for his wedding from the wine cellar at College Menzies. So he's chosen a Moscato for the ones that are sweet wine drinkers. He has some flip-flop Merlot, some flip-flop Cabernet. And for the toast, we're actually going to be using the sparkling from Santa Carolina. 
the demi sec because it's not too dry and it's not too sweet so it will everybody's going to enjoy the, his big day with the toast and then also for in the spirits line because we don't want people to forget that we also carry a line of spirits we carry whiskey so he'll have the three ships whiskey there we carry um, vodka he's going to have blue vodka uh, we are also going to give him amarula liqueur so he will have a variety of white wine red wine and spirits and i'm sure that everybody's going to have a great time our wine cellar has been here for the last six years. If you notice, it is a proper wine cellar. Our bottles are stocked right, vertical, horizontal. We have different lines from Spain. We have Spain, we have Italy, we have California, we have Chile, we have Australia, we have France. So we have quite a lot of inventory and palettes from all over the world. We would have people, wineries that would approach us and uh, we make sure that we send, they send in their samples so we can have a proper tasting. We call others from resorts and all those food and beverage managers who have probably more experience in the wine world and based on their input then we order the wine. Each and every wine in this store, in this cellar, has been tasted by us. You know, people have uh, an idea that our Belizean drinkers are not experienced wine drinkers. That's not true. Their palate has actually grown. For the last six years, we've seen people who have come in from getting the usual sweets and fondels, and their palates have gone all the way up from a Pinot Noir and all the way up to a Cabernet, and even trying new varietals like a Carmaneri and a Bordeaux. So we have gotten a little sophisticated, a little bit of a different style. We want you to come in and we want you to have a wine special experience. We want you to come in and ask us questions. And we want you to love wine as much as we do. We're passionate about wine, as you know. So come in and have a wine special experience with us. What we try to do is have regular tastings. We do a tasting in-house, for example, today, we have an open bottle Saturday tastings. We pick a bottle of wine and we'll ask people to come over and taste a bottle of, taste a glass of wine. And today we are doing the Russian Valley Pinot Noir. We've chosen a Pinot Noir because it's the gentlest of all wines. So if you are a newbie, come in, try the wine, and we'll explain to you what the wine is all about. And it also gives you a chance to test your palate, know your wine before you invest in a bottle. And we want you to challenge your palate and enhance your knowledge about wine. Because like I said, at Carlage Menzies, at the wine cellar, we're passionate about what we do and we want you to have the best experience. Good evening. Welcome to Jador and Many Men. I am Stephanie, the sale representative of Jador. Congratulations on your wedding. Thank you. Are you ready to shop for today? But of yes. course, let's go. Let's start. Ready like now. <laughs> Jador is the female line as you enter the building. At the back, we have the minimum section. I could say we have different sizes. So um, small, medium, large, nice. extra large, mm -hmm. plus size. Like and that's what we like. We have service for everyone. So feel free to come in store to see the style. 
We post pictures on Facebook, Instagram. You could WhatsApp us. We send our image to you. We don't repeat the same style. So I would encourage you to come and see the varieties of style that we have for various occasions. We have varieties of the different look. Casual, dressy business. We have work shoes, attire, and casual tennis shoes as well. The, um, the teenagers they also would like to come in and just try on the shirts. We have polos, Hollister, American Eagle, um, genuine leather shoes, casual tennis shoes, and for business attire, we have ties, we have work shirts, work pants, casual wear, um, polo shirts, um, we have body lotion, body wash, um, colognes, name brand watches. They look red, they look black, they look dark, they look yeah. yeah, man. This is like wow, 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 red wine. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sexy. Sexy. I love this. The pattern, design. the design yeah. is nice. You like the look? Oh, yes, man. I feel sexy. I like the color tone. Yeah, it's really, really yeah. nice, cool. The mint color goes with the white. I like the footwear. Oh, you know? Yeah, man. So, you know, like, what, what? You got peppermint pot in the side right there. All right. You like it? Once you like it? Oh, so I, I love it. I is love that about like you? You know, I love it. I love it. Beautiful. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, it's like a little doll. <laughs> mm. Yeah, man, I like this circus in myself. Go on, you nicely. That function. is more you. Mm -hmm. that. I look good? Yes, man. I smell good, though? Yes, man. All right. Many men. Many men. Many, 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 many men. I like the shirt, Pitta. It was an awesome day today working with Bernicia and RJ. I love working with RJ because he's very outspoken. We tried different varieties of clothes on him to make him feel more comfortable with our style in store. Um, Bernicia, she's more the type that would work with showing off with the clothes she's expressing herself how she feels and everything went so good and i could just say that i felt good working with them and picking the right clothes for them as well feel free to come to jador and many men we will make sure you look the best for your occasion They're a very lively, energetic couple, and they're very easy to work with. They're, they're easy to pose, and from the love that they, they showcase from the shoot, I can tell that they're, they're in for the long haul, and it comes out in the images we will see um, from today's shoot. Here at Cajapetch, it's a great pleasure to host our guests. Uh, everyone is welcome. Cajapetch is a fa family-friendly resort in which everyone is invited to have a good time. It's also with great pleasure that we uh, share uh, our guests' happy moments and their special moments. It's always a pleasure to have them here with us. At Night and Day, we have a section of our photography, which is the weddings 
We do a lot of weddings in Belize and today is no different. With our wedding packages, we love to document the, the whole uh, day of, the, of their special day, of anyone's special day with, um, for their wedding. That encompasses from the getting dressed, the ceremony. We do a session today, uh, not today, afterwards, after the ceremony, just like what we're doing with the couple right now, and then the reception. From that, you get all the photos, you get um, to relive the moment um, of that special day that you get to enjoy every day um, through our photos. So specifically use this area because of your nice shoes, one with the feet. So you put your legs up here, rest like this, you'll be over the side, have your arms like this, and then you'll just hook on to his arm and look over me that way. All right? All right. So let's do it. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Let's go for kiss her forehead. Kiss her forehead right there. Ready? One, two, boom. Smile while he does it. Smile. So we want to go for some eye contacts and then we can go for a kiss and then we'll do some shots looking at me over that side. Alright. Right. The style of our photography, it's more to capture the moments that are happening at that particular time. Uh, we do do some posing shots, but we prefer to keep it more candid and keep the realism, keep the sparks, keep everything that's happening throughout that time uh, and have them relive it through our photos. Right. For night and day, we aim to capture all your moments throughout your special day. We'll go over um, samples of weddings that we have done so far, um, the prints, and walk you through the whole step. So, getting married, contact us. Crunch time is here. The big day that we all have been working for is almost here. It is, what, a couple of days away. How has the process been for you? Is it something that you expected? Is it the way you planned, how you envisioned it? Tell us a little bit more about that. For me, in all honesty, it, it was a stressful situation, not in the sense that I'm doing any heavy lifting or anything like that. That's your, that's your job. But having to, to tell family members, because everyone keeps hitting you up on Facebook or WhatsApp, and, oh, well, I hope I get my invitation. I'm like, well, um, unfortunately, but they want it live, so you can watch it. Yeah, it's, well, you have to look at the bright side of <laughs> it. Know. Um, at, at, I mean, after all, all the country, all the world can see it. It's yes. going to be over TV and over social media, so that's a good thing. Yes. Everybody's invited to your wedding. Right. Um, so we need to look at the, at, the, at the cup being half full versus mm -hmm. half empty. Half, yeah. And for you, Vernicia? Me coming up with certain ideas, yes, it was what I thought I would have liked, but getting professional ideas, um, what's in, what's not in, what would work best, 
And that's because you still don't know how it will look like. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I've taken a lot of what you said, everything that you shared, what you like, what you don't like, and try tying it, like you said, with the current times, letting everything still be current. Mm -hmm. um, so what we have done is created like a merge of all of that. So right. you still don't know what the <coughs> final result it's is going to be, be and you're going to know that on wedding day, after all. One of the lessons that you learned coming into reality TV, something like what we've done, is that you become a celebrity in your own world. Yes. Um, you start yes. getting people, hi, how are you on the street? They know you mm -hmm. by your name, they know where you live, they know where you go. Mm. So that in itself adds a lot of pressure to everything that you already have to deal with. There were a lot of decisions that we had to make. Right. Um, venue, food, cake, cake, music, lighting, every single aspect of a wedding needs a decision. And as much influence that we as the planners may have, at the end of the day, it's your call, it's yeah. your decision to, to say, you know what, yeah or nay. We've basically accomplished 25% of my job with all of this planning. There's still a 75% that's Pending, and that is going to be completed on the day of the wedding. That's when you get all the challenges, the physical challenges. It starts raining. I mean, the weather is not really cooperating these mm. days. So you would have the challenge of the rain, put up a centerpiece, it's not holding up. Whatever the case may be, the thing is that when you walk into that room, it has to be transformed. It has to show and reflect the quality of work that we offer. And it also has to show the teamwork that within ourselves and our partners have created, making sure that everything flows smoothly for that day. I do see a wedding that is completely different than what I've done and completely different from what I've seen, at least here in Belize. So definitely it's something to look forward to. Take these last couple of days and enjoy it because after this, Wherever you go, she has to go. Whenever she goes, you have to go. So, <laughs> or, or not. <laughs> after this is happily ever after, I'm excited to have been a part of the journey of getting you there. I won't be seeing you until the day of the wedding, but I could guarantee you that what we do will surpass your expectations. Is going to be something that's, whoa, going to blow your mind. And that first reaction, of when you walk in there and see what happened, that's when I know I did a good job. So don't take my word for it. Let's live it on wedding day. Well, for me, I'm glad that majority of the headache is on you. So whatever happens on that day, and not be out there be like, oh my gosh, why is this not in this place? Why is this not standing up? Why is it raining? That is all on you. Yeah, so that's that, that that's 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 our job. I cannot change the weather. I cannot change certain things. So I will just go with the flow, be merry, and know that it will be a beautiful wedding. I can guarantee you that. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> and from what I've seen and and what I've heard, you 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 do reach all expectations and surpass them so i'm looking forward to it and thank god that you get all of the headache on me. <laughs>